can't stand how lopsided the camera makes me look. <laughs> it's been a while. So I'm trying to make um, shorter videos for my uh, audience with a shorter attention span, like me. As you can see, this is a different part of my room that I don't normally film in. Today I thought I'd go through my closet. <laughs> it sounds so dumb when I say it out loud. I, I just thought I'd show you what's in my closet. I don't know, uh, just like to show you a little bit about myself. I don't think I'm the first person to come up with this. I don't know where it came from, but I was like, that would be a good idea. But I know I didn't come up with it myself, so. As you can see, my closet is covered by this beautiful tapestry, 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 cloth with skeletons. <laughs> Let's get started. <laughs> I think this would be a better view of, you know? As you can see, all of my art things, everything creative or not is <laughs> at the top shelf. The shelf right here, so we're gonna go through that first. These are my coloring books. I have four right now. One of these I got, I think for Christmas one year and then um, the other three are all by the same artist, so they're really cool. Um, I think I bought one and I got the other two for Christmas one year. <laughs> and I really like these, I would totally recommend them. I might put a link in the bio to them, um, but they're, they're super cool. I should really find more time to color because I don't color as much anymore, but I don't have time to do anything I want anymore, so yeah. <laughs> These are some of my sketchbooks, some of, only three. I just got these three out because they look the same on the front. This one, obviously, the light is not having, but uh, it's marble, so I just thought that was really cool. Um, yeah, this one is actually super, super, super old. I got it, um... I think before my freshman year, either like the summer of freshman year, something like that. And that's why it's all beat up. So that's a really old sketchbook. Maybe I'll do um, some sketchbook tours in a future video. I don't know if people would want to see that. I don't know if people want to see any of this. <laughs> I think I did one in this sketchbook and then like ripped it out. Yeah, so this one's empty. And then I haven't gotten a chance to touch this one yet either, but it's, it's for a good reason. This one was a gift. Um, for those who gave it to me, you know who you are. Uh, <laughs> I promise I haven't been neglecting it. I look at it every day. Um, I just want all of my sketchbooks to have a theme because I have so many of them. More sketchbooks. <laughs> These two are uh, bullet journals. I have another one around here somewhere. I bought this one recently and was like, okay, I'm gonna start over because this was the first one that I bought. I was like, okay, I'm gonna start over. And then I didn't realize um, until I bought it, which I can't imagine why, because it's on the front cover, um, that it's a grid. Hold on. Yeah, that it's like a grid instead of the bullets. So I was very upset. <laughs> but this one is super old. Um, I bought it. When did I buy this? I don't know. <laughs> It was definitely while I was in high school. I think it was like my senior year maybe? Senior year of high school? There's not a bunch in it. It was, no, it was um, my 13th year. Um, the extra year I spent in early college, I think. That's when I bought this. That's not true. <laughs> it was my, God, I don't know. <laughs> my journals. Um, I didn't think that I would be the type of person to journal, which is weird because I used to do it all the time So I don't know why that would have come to mind, but um, like the person that I am now I didn't think that I would be the type of person to journal. I have quite a few. This one I got for my birthday No, I got for Chris It was a gift. This one was a gift. <laughs> I haven't written it in yet because I don't know what I want to write in it um, My mom got it for me and it's so pretty and I love it and Maybe it'll be a sketchbook, maybe I'll write poetry in it, I don't know. I don't know yet. This one was also a gift. All these, you know what, I think most of my art problem is 
other people enabling me. <laughs> this was when I like first kind of started to get back into journaling, I believe. And it's just like, I was just writing stuff about myself, answering questions like journal journaling prompts, stuff like that. So, but I like the book, like I like how it's like, like squishy. Does that make any sense? This one was gifted to me also. Uh, it's custom. Because my friends love me. <laughs> has little stickers on the back uh you know that represents me and who i am and this is the book that i journal in like this is like my thought book you know so um it's very very treasured to me and i want to write in it more than i already do and that's a work in progress <laughs> and this uh was the only one that was wasn't a gift i guess this one uh is my poetry book had it for a couple of years actually. I don't write my poetry in anything else except this book. I bought it when my friends forced me to join Poetry Club <laughs> a couple years ago. I got this from like Five Below and I thought it was really cute. Um, it says your vibe attracts your tribe. <laughs> so trendy. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's, oh, there's so much in it. Oh, um, there's nothing in this. I just thought it was really cute so I bought it. <laughs> my utensil collection. Charcoal pencils, uh, more charcoal pencils, colored pencils, you can kind of see them in there. I don't really use these that often because uh, they're a pain in the neck to sharpen. It's, I think it's just because they're really soft. Mechanical pencils, because that's what I used to draw. <laughs> uh, tiny acrylic paints, paintbrushes, big markers as well as fine markers. <laughs> these are pencil cases. Uh, pens, pencils, I think. Another pack of fine pens. These are my coloring markers. They are great if you're looking for coloring markers. Uh, they're called, forgive me if I butcher this name, Ohuhu. I think they were like $25 uh, and they work pretty well. And then these are um, my outline pens. They're actually pretty expensive but because i got them from a craft store that always has stuff on sale and always has coupons i snagged them for a deal <laughs> these are my watercolor palettes i don't have a whole bunch because watercoloring makes me nervous <laughs> this is the one that i use the most it's my favorite i got it a long 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 time ago and uh yeah so whenever i get the urge to watercolor uh, or rather attempt to watercolor. This is the palette that I usually go to. I don't know what it's called because I got it so many years ago. These two as well. Um, I rarely go to this one. And then these are metallic. I don't know if you can tell. I hope you can tell. You should be able to tell. If I can tell, you should be able to tell. <laughs> and then I have my acrylic paints up here too. I'm not taking all of them down. You can see them. <laughs> I need more. So if anyone wants to donate, any color of acrylic paint, <laughs> I would be eternally grateful. <laughs> you said I should get a P.O. box? Just kidding. <laughs> Unless. <laughs> a hobby that I dabble in occasionally is embroidery. It's very difficult, <laughs> that's why it's occasional. <laughs> but yeah, I have a tiny hoop somewhere, but I refuse to take it off of whatever it's on because it's mid-project. It's really fun, like it's really calming. So if you're looking for a hobby to get into that's time consuming, I would say embroidery would be a good place to go. Palettes, I haven't cleaned. Mind your business. <laughs> that's pretty much the important stuff. Uh, my clothes, I, do you wanna see my clothes? I can show you my clothes. I don't know if you could tell, but I <laughs> color organized my hoodies and stuff I don't know, it just looks really nice so i'm really proud of it so just indulge in this with me for a sec yeah. <laughs> i have a lot of hoodies like a lot not counting jackets zip up jackets those don't count one two three four five six 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So I have 19 up here, but there are a lot more downstairs. Do I have a problem? <laughs> 
I guess I'll just show you like my favorite things that are in my closet right now. <laughs> my You Matter hoodie, of course. Um, I burnt a hole in it accidentally. Um, not because I was doing illegal things, but I just burnt a hole in it. <laughs> so that little embroidery thing came in handy with that. I did some like strawberries and flowers and stuff right here so I could sew it up and cover it. And then I decided to do the same thing on the sleeves. So both sleeves kind of look like that. It's really nice. My ultra rare light blue You Matter hoodie. <laughs> Everybody was like basically fist fighting over these. Not really, but like they were just really hard to get for whatever reason. My Teddy Fresh hoodie because it was expensive. <laughs> on a, what was the sophomore year homecoming dress? <laughs> I bet you I could still fit into it too. I'm just a little taller. <laughs> yeah, this is one of my favorite dresses actually. What did I wear freshman year? Um, it was cute at the time. But if I find that picture, um, freshman year homecoming, uh, yeah. Uh, for this dress, put in a visual of uh, sophomore year homecoming. Not bad, right? My knees are ashy, but don't look at my knees. But the dress is cute, right? Senior year homecoming dress. This was the year I won homecoming queen. I have this ugly Christmas sweater that's actually ugly. <laughs> Whew, color guard uniform uh, V1, insert visual here. <laughs> color guard uniform V2, insert visual here. <laughs> One of 15 cheer uniforms. Which is weird, because we didn't wear this one. I don't know where this came from. Uh, this is my shirt for, um, what do they call it? NJHS. Uh, National Junior Honor Society. I was like, oh, they have one of these in high school? Man, I'm gonna join as soon as I get in. And then I was not smart. <laughs> but yeah, like I got the little, I got the little thingy thing, a little sash uh, um, that I wore, I think, at... The graduation? Did I wear it at the graduation? And then we didn't do much, so I guess the standards were pretty low. I think you just had to be a good kid. And like a little smarter than everybody else. Tiny cowgirl uniform that I clearly can't fit anymore. <laughs> and it even comes with a tiny purse. Ain't that cute? To end it off, this is the dress that I wore for my fifth grade ceremony. Hey. <laughs> At least I think I think this is what I wore. I'm pretty sure this is what I wore. Gosh, I have the memory of a goldfish. My belt from softball that I swore I gave back to the coach. <laughs> I thought I gave it back. I promise I didn't mean to lie. I just I swore I thought I gave it back. They were like, my original belt. I was like, I gave it back already. Stop bothering me. If you're watching this, I'm sorry. I forgot the bottom of my closet. Sorry. <laughs> Canvases, mini canvases, small canvases, not mini canvases. Gosh, the light. Smaller canvases, because I think that small canvases are more fun to paint on, so I have. I'm starting to get in a collection of those. These are my bigger brushes. Um, and some smaller brushes too, but I should really throw all of these away because I don't use them. Like, they're all bent up and stuff. And old. Two pop figures that I got uh, for my birthday a really long time ago. <laughs> the rest is just food. <laughs> I keep snacks in my room. Guilty. Sorry. All right, so that is just about it. I think I covered everything along with the bottom of my closet because I almost forgot about that. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this hopefully short video. I pray that it doesn't go over at least 15 minutes, but uh, yeah. Let me know if you liked it and if you want stuff like that in the future. Uh, sketchbook tour, let me know. And yeah, see you in the next one. Bye. Hello? Tell me what you want, tell me what you need. Tell me every little thing that you see. Oh my.